All right, up next, we will have our sixth presenters, Kieran and Cristobal. Hi guys, is my mic working? So in the strange time that we're living in, COVID seems to be constantly impacting our lives in new unforeseen ways. When our fast paced lifestyles are forced to be put on hold, people are reverting back to focusing on the basics. Since the pandemic, people have become much more health conscious. The issue that has arose is people don't know how to implement this lifestyle into their own. Prior to the pandemic, only 25% of adult Americans were getting the recommended dose of exercise each week. Of this 25%, there was a 32% reduction in physical activity once social distancing measures went into effect. This worrying statistic is predominantly down to one factor, which is the misconception in our society that you need a gym to be fit. This myth has been multiplied by the social media influence era where people are confused with what the real definition of fitness is. Diacal Tracker seeks to guide users about what fitness is really about, being healthy both physically, mentally, with your own personal goals in place. Our product is formed with two components, both acquired through a monthly fee. The first is a patch which will connect to the user's arm. This patch will be able to track the glucose and blood pressure levels of the user. Once this data is calculated, the user will connect the device to their phone and our paired mobile application will create a personalized diet and workout plan for the user. This will include foods and nutrients to avoid and to look for. It will also create a workout plan for the user based off the readings and their initial answers to the questions of their age, budget, accessible equipment, experience, and overall goal. The user will be able to receive new data each month so they can see their improvements and be able to have an updated plan based off their updated health readings. We want to help the people who are most lost in the fitness industry, the people who've tried a number of methods and haven't been successful. We think that through looking from data within, we can help these people achieve the fitness goals they're searching for. Thank you. What's Here. the competitive oh. landscape? This sounds like fitness trackers, wearables that, you know, there's a lot in this space. So what would you consider your nearest competitor? My perception is this is already out there. So why is that? Yeah. So our actual model isn't out there. So currently there's two sides of it. So there's the side of the diabetic tracker, which looks at the Google codes, which is purely the health side of it, looking at diabetes itself. Mm -hmm. And then there's the health plan tracker, so like my fitness plan, Under Armour have an application as well. So that's basically you input everything yourself. It doesn't track anything. It's not personalized. It's kind of just what you see is what you get. You know, you've run this far, you've lost this many calories. It doesn't create a plan. It doesn't tell you what nutrients you need to avoid and look based on the data from within you. So it's okay. not quite out there at the moment, we would say. Got it. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. The connection just left. No worries. How about we pick up where we left off? Yeah. Sorry. And what, what was the question again? Sorry. I lost my trail of thought. Yeah, absolutely. So we, I was asking you about how you plan to build these recommended models, if it's going to be based on trainers or nutritionists or who's going to help you do that. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so basically, first, we would use research from trainers and nutritionists, such as to do with, you know, if you have high blood pressure, you need to avoid foods with high sodium, unsaturated fats. So we'd basically be able to, similar to an algorithm sort of way with that side of it. So everyone, once they would input the data and you'd see what your readings gave, you would then receive all this nutritional information about here's the foods you need to avoid or have. And then similar to that as well, if you had high blood pressure, so that's more pressure on your heart, then you wouldn't want to be lifting heavy. So we'd suggest light body weight type things. And then of course, all this would tie together about the accessibility to gym equipment, your experience, do you know, have you been in a gym before and that type of thing. So we've sort of been using all this data from previous research and already what we know to formulate that side of it. And we do need to move on. So I'm sorry to be cutting off the questions due to the little technical glitch. Uh, so thank you.